42. It's Friday, so we have our daily dose of trending on this Friday. Ginny, you're talking about something special this morning. Absolutely, and it's a little special to the Billings community, to a lot of Central High students, and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. So earlier this school year, Q2 and One School at a Time introduced you to a class there at Billings Central. They worked to create a World War I film. They were studying propaganda films and such. And the class premieres their film this weekend at Nova Theater. I got to check in with them and got a sneak peek at all of their hard work. Boys, this is your opportunity. This is your moment. This is the moment that you have been trained for. Shane Fairbanks' students all had a role in the film Camrading from writing the screenplay to directing and operating cameras. It was really cool because students actually had to research um, what kinds of props and costumes they would need. And so they looked at World War I on a much deeper level. And I think after we were done, I think we all learned some valu valuable experiences, not only about making movies uh, and making them look authentic, but also um, the historical factor there too. Students experienced the challenge of production and learned to immerse themselves in character. I guess one thing that was very eye-opening is how much work it, you have to put in to actually like, um, it's not just memorizing your lines, you gotta remember exactly what your face should look like at this time too. All these people running and like rushing towards a certain place and you're just in the middle of all that and like everyone's screaming and yelling and even though like you know it's fake and everyone's acting it's still like gives you that like shock. The film pushed them to leave their comfort zones and to grow on a personal level. It's really weird watching yourself act because you know yourself more than anyone else does so you're kind of like oh, I hope everyone can believe that even though I don't. I think besides the uh, valuable learning experience about learning what it was like to be in the war on a small scale I think the students also learned that you know, some of them didn't know that they could act, maybe, or didn't know that they had a talent for this kind of thing, and they, they got to experience that. I mean, we had people actually crying on camera because they were so into their character. The hands-on opportunity allowed students to realize their potential. What was really cool is Mr. Fairbanks allows us to do our own work. Um, he's really, like, kind of, ta he takes a step back and says, listen, you guys, this is what I want you to do. You have to do it. Practical effects are kind of hard. Once you light a firecracker or a smoke grenade, you don't really get to place it where you want and you have such a short fuse on it and such a short time with it that when you light it, that scene has to be perfect. After filming was over, soaked and exhausted, the class gained a deeper understanding for those past and present who don't have the luxury of escaping the chaos of war at the end of the day. I've had a family um, who've been serving um, throughout the military, throughout both world wars and even today. and. Um, this film also allowed us to kind of delve deeper into what the soldiers actually went through, especially in the trenches. I just hope that someday, like, if anything were to happen with this country, I would have, like, the confidence or I'd, I'd be brave enough to do exactly what they did. Each student learned something new through the process and got to be a part of something bigger. Just having everyone doing what they're supposed to be in character. When I wasn't in a scene to see other people working on their scenes and just be like, like, we're doing such a good job together. And it's not just about a single individual, it's a movie for the entire group and for everyone in it. They got to see what it was like to be a part of a big project and have a lot of time and effort going to something of this size. And uh, I think that it's something we can all be very proud of. Very cool. <laughs> Right, and the trailer for Camaraden can be found on YouTube. It's awesome, and they made a couple other little short films in there that are in the trailer. And the shows for this weekend are sold out, but be sure to stay tuned to see their progress and how their silver screen event goes. Yeah, that, that was impressive. That's really cool. All the effects and everything that yeah. they did. And it shows that, you know, we'll, maybe one of them will be a filmmaker one day. It all yeah. starts there in the classroom in high school. They might be influenced. So good job Absolutely. and good job uh, handling all those one school stories throughout yeah. the year. You <laughs> were you. you were a little bit of everywhere this year. So good job <laughs> with that, Ginny. It's been a neat experience to see what kids are, or not kids, but young adults yeah, are students. capable of. Yeah, in the classroom these days. All right. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back after this break.